Hey folks, welcome back to Metroid Prime 3, here on the Pirate Homeworld, and we just acquired the Hazard Shield, which will allow us to access a variety of new areas that were previously blocked off with Acid Rain. But first we have to take the train. What a pain. So yeah, I like the train idea, except it would have worked better if they were all just shift points, so they could double the save points. Come on, tilt it up. Also, I, I hate this motion stuff. It's terrible. So, going through here, we will uh, reach an area that you may remember, if you remember things well. Remember this? Maybe? Anybody? It's, it's, it's a one-way shortcut, basically. It's weird, it's a one-way shortcut that switches the way it goes every time you use it. So, it's, it's, its usefulness is limited. I don't know why they designed something to be purposely inconvenient like that. Anyway, we are back in the main big room here, and uh, now the pirates know we're here, so let's just kill them. Just go into hyper mode immediately, because I know it's all needed. Ah, see, there. There, there's the hyper mode guy. Yeah. So the reason that we couldn't really make progress through here is because, A, we need the grapple voltage for this. And B, if we tried to use grapple voltage on it without the hazard shield, we would die because we'd standing in the rain too long. And they purposely make it a very long energy cycling process just to make sure that you would die. So through here we have whatever this is. I don't think it's the rain because I'm not orange. Just it's just stuff. Kill this uh, stuff just to say that you got more kills, I guess. Doesn't drop any energy, it's weird. And we just completed an objective. I don't know what objective that is. Oh, lasers. Yeah, unavoidable uh, security breach thing. Hey. Where is that? There he is. Yeah, these guys turn invisible, if I haven't mentioned. They're annoying in that way. They're still not hard. Anyway, crawl tanks behave not difficult. Seriously, one shot, even when they're in hyper mode, one shot. See, look at that guy. He died. And then two more, and our final, finally, our way out. Shoot you. You're dead. That's that. Look at all this energy that's getting dropped. Jesus Christ. Look at all this. It's, it's ridiculous. So yeah, that crawl tank uh, opened up this passage, but there is lore here. I forgot to mention that uh, the pirates stole the Aurora unit from the Valhalla and plugged it into Phase as a super brain supercomputer thing. And basically, they're trying to uh, corrupt every, corrupt the pirate homeworld for one thing, and then a later scan will tell us that yes, they're doing the same thing to the other planets that they attacked. Anyway, here, just opening up a shortcut. You remember this place? Yeah, you might. We'll be able to go through there soon enough, but for now, head back. Climb up this spider ball track. Oink. And through this door we have Amazingly wonderful another train station. Yes. I love train stations so much, don't you? Don't you?
I guess I'd mind them less if they didn't have the long animations. They're skippable, but I don't want to do that for the sake of the of the playthrough. Okay, tilt it up, tilt it down. Okay, do it slowly. So, through door number one, we have another save point. I won't be using it. I recommend that you do. And through door number two, we have... The Mines. Christ, not this crap again. Got some other guys here, I know. Hey, hey, there you are. And third one. And of course, it took just long enough so that I get corrupted. Oh, good, there's one more. Alright, I said I would use missiles more. Let's use missiles more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, these are the Phazon Mines. Not to be confused with the Phazon Mines. Because see, here the pirates are mining Phazon out of their own planet. And in Prime 1 they were mining Phazon out of someone else's planet. Which makes it a completely new and original idea. Anyway, here we have actual mining equipment. As demonstrated here. And welcome to Long Animation Cutscene City. Again, they're skippable, but I don't want to skip them, because then you wouldn't see what's happening. Yeah, uh, you can mine two different places, I recommend both. Now you might recognize this music from Super Metroid. I totally don't remember what it is, probably Space Pirate related, but it's, it's definitely from Super Metroid. Look at that intense drilling action. Oh my god, yes. This is so thrilling. Could have made it like a, a drilling mini game or something, I don't know. And once more with feeling. And the first half pipe in quite a while. Anyway, neat little aesthetic touch here. You can see it's uh, like super hot right now because it just got drilled. Let's keep an eye on it. See, that's neat. I think that's pretty neat. You can see this cooled off already. See all those phase on veins in the in the ore there. See, eventually, apparently, if their plan works, all this would be completely phase on. These veins would expand. Hey, don't do that. Maybe through here. Let's uh, throw in another motion gimmick for no good reason. And destroy that and destroy you. Oh, you would go hyper, wouldn't you? Stupid head. Anyway, take up this path here. Bomb up. Doesn't matter which path left or right you take, you have to take both in order to unlock these unlocking mechanisms. I 
I really wish there were a quicker way to boot, like, jump up off a rail rather than just laying a bomb. Ooh, that was quick. As you can see that there's a screw attack surface here, somewhere, here if you ever want to go back up. Doesn't happen too often, I don't think. And here, Vanguard is just saying, hey, let's let's shove Leviathans into all the planets and turn them into clones of phase. Now this area is cool. Because you got this guy shooting lasers and destroying terrain actively as you do stuff. But the thing is, it's not actually a challenge. Like that first one, yeah, he destroys it in front of you after you screw attack. But other than that, stun him once by shooting him a lot. And you can just walk the whole way, and you'll be totally fine. Like you can see these grapple lud grab ledges or whatever. But yeah, see, he's like, come on. Yeah, it's, it's totally not a problem. Anyway, you can come back here and kill him eventually once the shield is gone. You can come with your ship. I probably won't. You'll get a friend token if you do it. Anyway, green laser is either. Yeah, these are like mining lasers, I think. Yeah. Hey, shoot those drones with the laser. Yeah. Yeah, those those Jolly Roger drone things are not dangerous. I don't know why I couldn't jump properly there. As you can see, the lasers are doing all the killing for us. So... What's this over here? Just Yes, lower. Hi there. Victory and loss. Uh... I forget. I, I think... Let's check again. Okay, no. Never mind. I think that's like... Uh, hooray... We, uh... We rammed things into the planets, except Norian. So everything's going to plan, except Norian. I don't remember. A lot of pirate lore is just recapping what we already know. Anyway, green door. And I'm just going to say, there's a save point past this. It, it, it's actually a docking point. And there's a boss fight right in there. There's a save point right next to the boss fight, but you can't use it until after you beat the boss. I think that's a dick move. See, I grab this energy, you'll want it. And... Activate this. Remember we can activate lifts by scanning them. Those were the good old days. I sort of lied. This is sort of a boss fight, sort of not. It's it's a puzzle boss, basically. We need to destroy that uh, machine in the middle. And how do we do that? By doing certain things to these pirates at certain times. Notably right now. Uh, once everything's all done and doing stuff like that, it'll suck the pirates in. And you'll want to shoot them with a hyper missile. Knock him in there. That'll open up that, and then you look up, shoot a missile, and that destroys one. Rinse and repeat. Each phase gets a little more difficult because they add in more pirate commandos rather than regular pirates. And basically, you leave one pirate to. Oh, come on, really? 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 Uh, let's see if I can hold on to it and, and use it for when he gets sucked in. My luck, probably not. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Uh, 
There we go, and... Yeah! Nice timing. And those fires really waste no time getting out here. So the first few phases, uh, when they're actually still sending regular pirates out, I like to kill the commandos and leave the regular pirate. Hey. And I think I'm corrupted now. Yep. And basically, you don't want to hurt the regular pirate, because uh, shooting him with a missile does hurt him while knocking him in, and you don't want to kill him. Okay. And you can shoot him at an angle, although a very particular one. And for the last, last phase, it's all commandos. So just shoot away. They are more durable than the regular pirates, but not a lot more durable, so you still want to leave the last one relatively unharmed. Like right there, yeah. And let's just hide behind this pillar. Yeah, they have better grip. So you have to shoot him with more. Now he's dead. I like how it spawned pirates for the next phase, even though there wasn't going to be a next phase, and then it killed them. Suck up all this energy, missiles, and all that good stuff, and get our hands on the Nova Beam. I like the Nova Beam. You know why I like the Nova Beam? Because it's green. But also because it's the best beam in the game. And it can pass through Phaseite to shoot various things. So you remember all those blue plates all the way back in basically every planet? Now we can do things with them. Also, makes awesome noises. That's a really cool charge beam effect. Anyway, that's where we'll be going next time, I believe. But, certain things are to be happening through here. Notably the save point stuff, you know? And true, the save point isn't directly through, but you can still go through without doing the phaseite related stuff in this room, so I just I don't see why they made that door green. Lock that stuff in. Turn on the x-ray visor. And undo these locks. And hello, you're you're a Metroid. Let's kill you. In one hit. Ha! That's right, the Nova Beam can one-shot any Metroid creature uh, when in combined with the X-ray visor. And that includes Metroid Hatchers. Uh, Brio falls, the events that took place on Brio happen. We come and, and stop their plans. That's that's the lore. It, it's summarizing something we did. And here's a, uh, a ship point place. But just to show that we still have the powers of the, the plasma beam, we can melt this whatever crap. What is this? Allo alloys. Why is this here? Who knows. And we need to clear all this in order to land. It's great. Can I explode that? No, that can explode it, but doesn't help. This is thrilling. Why didn't you just make one big pile? Alrighty, that takes care of that. And now we can land our ship. Alrighty, that takes care of that. 
Uh, next time we'll head deeper into the mines, so I'll see you guys next time.